Mira cómo está quedando. Grandma's kitchen, right, Alia? Where are we? On my hand, <laughs> So we're currently on week three of being in quarantine at mom's house here in Denton. So obviously we have a lot of time to bring you guys another Mexican recipe. So today we're gonna bring you chiles rellenos. Un chile relleno es un chile poblano, asado, pelado. A ver, este va relleno de carne, a veces de queso. Esta vez van a ser de carne. Y este, y es el chile poblano. Le, generalmente el chile poblano viene eh, aparte de ser rellenado, luego es lampreado y así. En esta ocasión no se va a lamprear el chile. So this actually means it's a little bit more healthy because it doesn't have all that extra breading that it usually has around. And in order to make the chile rellenos, you're going to need chiles, chiles. poblanos, potatoes, <laughs> Good. They're a little sized. Meat. Meats. Ground beef. <laughs> queso. Kind of cheese. Puede ser queso mozzarella rallado. En esta ocasión es queso mexicano. Estilo mexicano. Especial para quesadilla. Enseñenle así. Sour There. cream. Is sour, it sour cream? cream? Yes. There you go. All right, and then we didn't bring you guys the rice because that's a separate recipe, but we are making a rice on the side to, to have this uh, with. So, all right, here we go. Las personas que no se han suscrito a la página, por favor, denles un like y suscríbanse. Make sure you give us a like and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. And give us your comments about any other recipes that you want to learn about. And mom and I will try to do the best to get those to you. And I will show you Enseñalo how to make chiles hey. rellenos. todos los chiles. Thank See you later. So we're gonna keep them in there for a while. Uh, this is why this is the way that we um we make sure we can peel off the skin. Previamente le pusimos poquita cebolla para que suelte el sazón de la cebolla, saborcito. ¿Un título de qué? ¿Por tanto qué?
So now we get to peel the peppers. And it is hot, so be careful. Muchas señoras y muchas personas le quitan las semillas. Yo no se las quito. No sé por qué. Por pues flojera. Yo siempre lo hago con la mano. Lo relleno con la mano porque lo aprieto mejor, pero esta vez vamos a echarle con la cuchara. Que se vea más nice. Es mejor con la mano. option you could also get um vanilla cheese is it queso vanilla right sí. vanilla uh, vanilla cheese and um that one's a thicker white cheese that you could cut up into squares and they would actually be stuffed inside where the where the seeds are so right at the beginning before actually adding on the, the meat so that's an option if you guys want to do that with your chiles you can um for today we didn't want to go out of our way to find that special cheese so we are just going to do them with our meat Our, our dish is ready and now we're gonna try it um, we like to of course use tortillas to yes. eat our chile so okay vamos a probar esto la tortilla es muy importante mmm good a ver mmm and some of this rice. Mm. It's one of my favorite meals. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked our recipe and what it turned out to look like, because you don't know what it tastes like, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. And I will make sure to give you more Mexican recipes with mom. Now that I'm here in quarantine with her, <laughs> um, if you have any questions, um, 
or any suggestions for other Mexican recipes, make sure you leave them to leave them in the comments and share this vlog with any other moms out there or anybody that wants to learn something new during quarantine. Um, you have the time. It's it's a good time to start cooking, and this is easy mm. <laughs> for the most part. Really? La próxima le tendremos unas albondigas. Ah, ya dijo. You want to learn how to make some Mexican meatballs? Stay tuned for the next one. Apparently, she's already decided. O pasa con pollo. That's a good one too. Chicken and and, Digan and quiere, pasta. Pasta con pollo o albondigas. O albondigas. We're gonna leave. A, I'm gonna do a poll and see what you guys vote on for the next one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye. Mwah.